Good evening, everyone. I hope you're enjoying your evening tonight at this fundraiser for the Cathedral of St. Paul. My name is Lawrence Lawyer. I'm the Director of Music here, and we're going to start our tour of your past generosity with our organ blower. This is the lungs of the pipe organ. Reviewing some of your past generosity at the Festival of Lights is a refurbishment of not one but two historic pipe organs that the cathedral was fortunate to have. Part of that was this magnificent walnut case that was carved in California, and it was designed partially by Emmanuel Louis Masquerade, these pedal towers that we call them. These were on the original blueprint from 1907 that Masquerade drew. And Duck and Strike from Notre Dame University took that blueprint and adapted it to the Cathedral Gallery. The floor was redone. We put in some heat under the floor, which the choir really likes. And we put heat underneath the giant rose window uh, in front of us. Also, one of the wonderful features was the new uh, choir pews. And those were custom designed to be comfortable for the choir to sit during the liturgy. Part of your generosity with our past projects, besides the pontifical trumpet, was the addition of a thousand new pipes. This fourth keyboard has a thousand more pipes. And so what does that do? That enables us to support a really full church singing assembly at ordination, for instance, the installation mass for Archbishop Hebda was standing room only. And so that helps us support the liturgy. Also, part of that project was two new identical consoles. We have video online of this being hoisted over the gallery rail on the Cathedral Heritage Foundation webpage. And um, we have an identical console behind the high altar. And what's so great about that is that we can pull that console out for organ concerts. And in fact, many of you that were here for the Beyond Standing Room Only inaugural concert by Olivier Latrie of Notre Dame de Paris will know that um, for the first time people are really able to see the organist in action. And that really takes a lot of the mystery away from this instrument, which is usually hidden up in a choir gallery somewhere. One of the things that inspires me most about the past uh, projects for the organ gallery is the number of people who donated, over 800 people. And when we sit here as organists, we, we feel that love for the parish, for the liturgy, and also for the community, because we do have a series of concerts, and uh, that brings people into the cathedral who've never been here before, and shares what we do. One of the things I love most, however, is when these pews are filled with choir members, and especially on Wednesday afternoons at 515, when our cathedral choristers lead the singing at Mass. Thank you. 
Thank you.